everyone. So I am going to show you today how to use a drawing tablet if you do not have a touch screen device or your own tablet at home. So when I started using um, technology in the classroom, one of the biggest things as a math teacher was the ability to be able to write on the screen and show that to students. Um, at the time, I didn't have a uh, drawing tablet or any easy way to draw on my device and it wasn't touch screen enabled so I ended up purchasing a drawing tablet um, that wasn't very expensive and it was on Amazon and I could use that to draw on the screen and it could be recorded with Screencastify. So if that is the boat that you're in right now for distance learning and you need something to be able to draw on the screen but you don't have a uh, touch screen device or you don't have a tablet that you can already use, I'm going to show you a very affordable option by purchasing one of these which is a drawing tablet, and I'll link a few different options that you can try. But specifically today, I'm talking about the X-Pen Deco, I think it's one version two. And it's a really great device. It's a really large tablet, as you can see, is like it's huge. Um, and this whole area is what you can draw on, and then it can go on your screen. So I'm going to show you guys how to use that, because if you are much like I was, if you're teaching math or anything where you need to be able to draw on the screen, this is a super affordable way to do that, rather than purchasing a 500, 600, maybe even $1,000 touchscreen device. Um, this is less than $100, and I'll link some that are even less than that. So I think this one was around, you know, $80 or so. And so we purchased this for some of our teachers, so that way they could be able to use that drawing feature in the classroom. So first of all, all you really need to do to get this set up is just plug it into your computer. It comes with a cord and it plugs in via USB, and that's pretty much it. What I will link, though, are the drivers that you would need to be able to adjust the settings. So the settings when you download the drivers, because it doesn't come with any sort of like CD or anything that you can to download those drivers, but you can get it on the website. Um, once you get those drivers, you can open it up and you get this panel just to be able to adjust some settings. So how I have mine set up is that it's the work area is just this one monitor. So in my office right now, I actually have two monitors and this is the only monitor that I want it to go on. So right now I'm using the pen and if I were to take this over, see how my pen stops, I can't get to that second screen, which is really great because if I were to use this, so if you see this uh, tablet right here that they have as an example, if I put it across both screens, imagine splitting it in half and then when you draw on this side, it shows on the left screen and when you're on the side, it's on the right screen. For me, I just wanted this to represent my screen. So that's why I have it set to one. Now from there, I kept it on absolute mode so that it stops it from being able to go over, but you could put it on relative mode and change some set different settings. One other thing that's in here is the express key setting. If you click on that, that is talking about the keys that are on this left side of the tablets, and you can set up a variety of different options if you would like to use that. Um, and then you can just come in and you can change those. Once all your settings are set up how you want them to be, um, you can click OK and it's done. But oh, one other thing I want to show is there is a pen and eraser option. So the way that this works is you can see there's two different buttons you can click on. Um, you can kind of see it in this diagram right here. The eraser is auto um, set up to be on top and the right click is at the bottom. So this is super, super useful and I tend to leave almost all of these um, the default settings as long as my work area is set to just one monitor. Now if you only have one monitor, it's going to auto do that anyways, but I do find that to be pretty useful. So I'm going to show you guys now two different ways that you can use the drawing tablet um, on your virtual classroom. So the first way is I'm going to show Jamboard super, super quickly, and I actually didn't use this in my classroom when I was teaching. Um, it really wasn't, I don't remember it being around um, or very popular at that time, so I'm kind of super bummed about that, but I really wish it was because that it's super cool. Anyways, I'm going to stop talking about how cool it is and actually show you. So if you hit the bottom right button where it says New Jam and you open it up, you're going to see that it kind of resembles Google Drawings or Google Slides. Um, not quite as many features as it has, but basically think about this as an interactive whiteboard. So when you see this, um, what you can do is you can change the background, you can change the pens, the erasers, you can add sticky notes. There's a whole bunch of different things here. And one of the things that I think is really cool is you could even um, create lines right here to resemble a piece of paper if you're writing on it. Um, the math nerd in me loves that I can create graph paper, 
and then it's really just very easy to draw on it. So I'm actually going to show you with the pen. So when I come over, I can click on the pen, and I can make a dot right here, and I could make a dot here, and let's say I'm graphing, and you kind of have to learn how to get good at being precise, and my lines are never very straight, but you can see it's super easy to write on here. Um, I don't know what else I'd do. Maybe if I was doing an equation, I could write it out, and then I could solve it, and as you can see, it's just super, super, super easy to be able to um, 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 write on it. One thing I was trying right there was the erase mode. You'll notice that it's in pen mode, and if I click on eraser, it's not going to erase when I'm actually on um, Jamboard, though. So just kind of be aware that some of those features don't always go cross-platform. If I'm done with it, I can clear that frame, and then it goes away. Um, I could change the background back to white, and I could even add some sticky notes if I wanted to use my um, keyboard and just say unit one, and I could save that, and it just shows up up here, and I could have that show up, I could move that around, and I could add all sorts of different stuff and different background things. It's pretty cool. You could add pictures in between if you wanted to, and then you could even use this laser so that it could track kind of your direction of where your mouse is going. But Having this drawing tablet is so useful on Jamboard. So if you're really needing to write something out, and as a math teacher, it was much easier for me to write things out digitally than it was, or I'm sorry, to write things out with like a pen than it would be digitally. Because if I had to have them solve, um, let's just say, a really advanced math problem, and think you can think about different things that you've got too. Um, but let's say mine was something like this. Sorry, it's kind of all over the place that is going to take forever for me to type out. So having the drawing tablet just made this whole process way quicker and I could record my screen and then share it with the students for them to watch later. Um, if you're in elementary land, I am sure there's different ways that you can think how this would be useful to you. Math always comes first to my mind when I think about the drawing tablet. But maybe if you're an art teacher, you can think of different ways that this can be utilized. Um, there's a whole host of different things that um, you could use Jamboard for, and this drawing tablet with Jamboard really just makes things, um, again, more precise, more accurate, and a little bit quicker for you. Yeah. All right, so the second way that I always use this was simply by using a presentation. Now, this is a presentation I had. Again, math, so sorry, math-minded person. But I could use this in kind of conjunction with Screencastify. So right now, I'm actually using Screencastify to record. And Screencastify does come with some drawing tools. So that's what you see that's been kind of over here at the bottom hovering. Um, I could turn on the pen. And what I tended to do, actually let me put the arrow back on for a second, is I would actually put this into present mode and then take it out just to it where it was a little bit more like a preview. Let me get to there. And then what I could do here is I could leave this up while I'm presenting. I could click on the pen, and then I could come over, and I could start solving that problem. So I could say, OK, minus 3 on both sides. That leaves me with 2x equals 4. Divide both sides by 2, and x equals 2. Sorry, there's a little bit of a nerd in me that really misses math right now. Um, but see how simple that is? I can use my previously created um, slideshow and just simply use Screencastify to give me the drawing tools and record on top of it. This is the way that I always did all of my flipped classroom lessons. Um, like I said, I started out originally with the drawing tablet, and then a little while later I purchased a um, Chromebook that allowed me to do the same thing. But obviously a Chromebook, um, a nice one that has a touch screen, is more like $600. Whereas this tablet right here is about $80. So if you're thinking price point or if your school is looking to purchase something, this is a really good option. Um, now when I'm done with this, all I have to do is I can just erase it. Or I can choose this little square right here and erase the whole screen. So that is pretty much it. Then that's kind of what I wanted to show you guys. Um, again, this is the uh, X-Pen Deco. It's the, I think it's X-Pen Deco 1 version 2. I will link it in the blog post as well as a couple of other options. But hopefully if you are doing virtual learning and you found yourself struggling with the uh, lack of having some sort of writing device or a whiteboard, 
Um, hopefully this will be a digital option that will support you. If you do have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out. Thank you.